All right, this is Jamal Hartwell, and I'm going to do the Neo Soul Keys demonstration for the Yamaha Motif XF. So you're asking me, how am I able to do a demonstration for the Yamaha XF, Jamal? Glad you asked that question. Well, this is because I have a Yamaha Motif XF sitting right here. Yes, sir. Um, I think a lot of people got a little confused about the Kronos uh, review. They kind of made it seem like, and I will do some reviews later, it kind of made it seem like that uh, I was going to go out and get a Kronos. But uh, no, I am a Yamaha guy, and um, I'm sticking with Yamaha. One of the reasons being is uh, my big thing as a developer. I am a developer. So the biggest thing for me is developing software, developing samples for my users. And as a developer, Yamaha's infrastructure and their user group and how friendly they are uh, is very, very important to me. That's a big plug for me. Yeah, the sounds head to head, you know, the Kronos has some awesome sounds. Yamaha XF is by far the top, uh, one of the top keyboards. Um, yeah, yeah, we're talking about that, but you know the other things that the XF offers uh, The flash is definitely a benefit because I'm a sample guy So when I load samples, I don't want to have to load anything up So the XF is, is a plus for me in the studio. You got the firewire going you got the firewire out You got the control you got the well, I'll get into that later, but this is a sound demo. So Basically, I opened this thing up uh, without reading any manuals because I know the way Yamaha thinks. So we're talking about the Yamaha Motif XF. We're talking about the Neo Soul Keys uh, sample library. So the thing about that is that what makes producing sample libraries very awesome as a developer for uh, Yamaha is that they are a huge company, but they operate as a almost like a startup company, which is very good. I'm going to give you an example. Um, I contacted uh, one of the guys at Yamaha and I said, look, I need a sample library. I, I want to produce sample libraries. I need the uh, I need the code. I need the SDK so I can produce some sample libraries for you guys within what? Maybe a day or so. I got the SDK and I'm up here working. The other companies, Roland, Korg, they're so secretive about their SDKs. They're so secretive about their sample format. They don't want nobody making sample formats. And therefore, they're so secretive that they don't spawn development. So when you look at the iPhone, why is the iPhone so successful? Because developers are crowding to it. What makes Yamaha so successful is that people like me, the little gospel musicians of this world, can go and make some sample libraries and, and they're open. So their infrastructure, their user support, oh, don't get it twisted. Their sounds are on par with the Kronos. Yes, the Kronos have a big old five gig piano. All right, cool. You got that. You got me on that one. I gave you that one. So I would, I'm not trying to take any. I don't want you to get messed up with these videos. There's more to a keyboard than just a piano, which is the most important. There's more to a keyboard than just a big old uh, sample library. I, I believe Korg is moving in the right direction. But to compete with the infrastructure that Yamaha has with the flash and all the user support and developers like me as a developer uh, the, the other companies can't compete so with that said I'm I can easily bring the Neo Soul keys to the Yamaha Motif keyboards all three of them because of how easy they are as far as bringing the Neo Soul keys to the Kronos you know how difficult that is if I wanted to bring Neo So Keys to the Roland Phantom, people keep writing me, oh, oh, what about Roland? What about us Roland guys? What about us core guys? You need to talk to your guys that make sample libraries so it can make it easy for us developers to make sample libraries for you guys. Yamaha got it down. Tell everybody else to come aboard. All right, here we go. So, here we go. Neo So Keys, the first one is Neo So One. This is the Yamaha Motif XF. My Neo So Keys for the Yamaha Motif XF. <laughs> There we go, so you can tell it sounds a little different from the ES. One of those reasons is because of the filters. The filters are a little more clearer. Um, one thing about the ES people, you say sometimes that your ES samples sounded fatter than the XF. They sound different. The ES filters have a more fatty, fat, but a little more muddier type sound. It gives you that warmth, but you don't get that clarity. 
the XF uh, filters gives you that clarity. It gives you that it gives you that warmth, not as warm as the ES, but it gives you that warmth, but with clarity. That's why it sounds different. So when you say your samples, for those of you who have an uh, ES and an XF or XS, and you say the samples sound different, yes, they do because of the filters. But I like, actually, I like the XF better because I can hear those clarity, the clarity things more than I could on my ES. Now, for those of you who have an XS, the samples are exactly the same, all right? The, the difference in sound is gonna be your own filter. So, XS, XF people, these are gonna be the same. All right, let's get started. Neo Soul One, this is your go-to. Listen to this. Now, uh, hear that bark? That's a bark right there. especially on this awesome weighted 88 man this 88 weighted is awesome on this xf yeah, so this is awesome so this is neo so one neo so two once again has more wood more wood for the hip-hop folks Once again, with the flash, I can turn this thing off, turn it back on, and I still have the samples. That's awesome with the flash. With the other keyboards, uh, this is probably one of the only keyboards with flash. I think the Nords have flash. Uh, you can load them in, and they have an SDK where you can actually load your own samples and stuff like that. But so, uh, but this is one of the only keyboards that have as much flash as it does. You can get up to two gig on this thing. So okay. So this is number two. This is more for hip hop guys. Uh, smooth R and B. A lot of chorusing going on there. So um, grimy. Got like said distortion going on. And you notice all of the the stuff that you can change over here. Um, once again, I'm more of a sticky hip hop. The roots. Um, more drive gives you that. So um, the classic seventy three. get that hard so don't all right so stage 73 speaker cab that's the cool thing about the XS and the XFs is they have the speaker cabinets Take it off. 
with the uh, mod wheel. Dino. That's that classic, uh, classic. Classic 80s. off right there and add a little bit more Woo. Woo. it's that reverse we're talking about but once again just like on the ES the go-to is always that first one right there asking uh, those of you who've been curious what did I end up getting end up sticking with Yamaha for the benefits I talked about uh, the controls the the firewire the 16 the 16 uh, track firewire uh, the flash the control um, for me as a developer what's really important to me is the support and the SDKs so I can create so I can create so I can create like this I think I like the one on the XF better because of the clarity you can hear them pops and as gospel musicians coming at you with the neo soul keys sound demo for the Yamaha Motif XF is in Frank <laughs> 